very timely God is bringing our attention to tonight I started sharing last week about the war that broke out in heaven I began to share how Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and his angels and scripture says there was no place found for them in heaven anymore unfortunately the war that was won in heaven only shifted base into the earth so the Bible says the dragon came to the earth to wage war against the seed of the woman. Who is the seed of the woman? We, the faithful ones, the church. War. So there was war in heaven. There is war on earth. And so the Bible says there's no man. There's no man that warrants that will entangle himself with the affairs of this world so that he can please the one who has called him to be a good soldier Satan has lost the battle in heaven but he's fighting another battle on earth the battle he's fighting on earth is against the bride of Christ to make sure she's never fit she's never chest and she's never pure because Jesus is only going to come back for a chest and virtuous spotless bride and if the church can never enter that statue of spotlessness and chastity then the coming of Christ has been impeded this is the last card of Satan. He knows that he cannot stop the initiatives in the spirit realm. So he's working intentionally on the physical realm, hoping that he will make sure iniquity will abound and men will never be able to align with the prophecies that will be the doors where Zion will flow into time from. And so God is beckoning on us tonight to give us the right tools, the right set of tools that will prepare us and give us victory as we labor and as we journey in our sojourn in life. Today I just want to introduce something that I believe will bless us mightily. The gates of the soul. The gates of the soul. The gates of the soul. If you are writing the gates of the soul, media entertainment industries all kinds of agencies in the world they are working deliberately on an agenda they are intentionally functioning deliberately on an agenda that I believe that God needs to help us to master what's going on so that we can truly truly walk in victory and walk in dominion Number one gate of the soul is your eyes. And number two gate of your soul is your ears. Your eyes respond to light. Your ears respond to sound. Unfortunately, these two things, Satan has mastered the systems around it. Just in case you go into your normal day without planning to commit sin, and then you find out that it's hard to live righteous, I want to explain the nitty-gritty at molecular level how men fall. I want to explain tonight where the, the journey of temptation started from. So that if we attack it from the root cause, you can live as though Satan has no initiative in your territory. I want to explain how the biggest temptations and the greatest struggles of men's life, I want to explain where it starts from. I want to show us how God gives men victory. And I pray that tonight as you pay attention, May God truly quicken your heart and give you wisdom to overcome that which challenges our generation. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's very simple. It's simple right now to go into the world and assume that there is no challenge in what we see 
There's no challenge in the powers that regulate what the dictate of fashion currently is. Because if you look at the terrain carefully, what fashion is evolving into is nudity. Unfortunately, we don't have much Zionites on ground who are setting the standard. So we look up to Nicki Minaj. We look up to David o to define to us what appearance, what fashionable dressing should be like. And the spirits that use these men is intentional about what system is powered by these very simple things. I'm sharing these things with you because it's very intentional. Your eye is more powerful than your sight. It's not only that you are seeing with it, your eye is shaping your destiny. What is entering you is powerful enough to mold what you become. Scripture says, as we behold, as in a glass, with unveiled faces, we are transforming to the same image of what you are beholding. Unfortunately, whether it's the word of God you are beholding, or you are beholding the nudity and the, the lost in the world, you will all be transforming to what you are beholding. Scripture says faith cometh by hearing and then hearing by the word of God. Unfortunately, it's not only faith that comes by hearing. All other spirits too can be transferred by just hearing. So there are many secular songs. The devil needs for several songs. Do you know how many songs are released in just a day? And the tune is very nice. You are hearing the sound and you are thinking in your mind, this one, they didn't really say anything bad inside. He didn't even say anything that is wrong. It's just a moral song. It was never about the wordings in the song. It's about the spirits that journey with the words of that man. And so, sound and light are the two entrance points into the soul of any man. Unfortunately, saints of God, the greatest addictions in the lives of people, the greatest struggles in their life has been powered by one of these channels. And many of us, we don't understand how it works yet. Job said, I made a covenant with my eyes. Why should I behold a maiden? I've made a covenant with my eyes. Why should I look upon a maiden? Normal matches adverts. Matches that should just be about lighting fire then they put a naked woman's picture by the side you want to buy soap soap to wash dirty from your skin they put a naked woman picture by the side advert for niger bed right now also there is these things are intentional to make sure that every time you step into the world before you come back there are already enough bullets hitting your soul so that if you are not careful listen listen it's not what you decide to do that you do. You do what has entered your heart. The Bible says, as a man thinks in his heart, so he is. So if they can get you to enter your heart, you have become what has entered your heart. The media is currently broadcasting everything. 90% of the media is negative news. Breaking news. War on this side. Breaking news. Pastor did this breaking news. It's always negativity as you are watching that, as your mind is being filled by it. This is how the spirits that sponsor those actions too. They are getting access to flow into the souls of men. And then the average Christian finds it very hard to go out and come back unspotted because the gates were not intentionally guarded. You decided you wanted to just entertain yourself after a very hard day's work. Probably you wanted to watch one harmless movie to calm your nerves. And then you put on a movie. You, you thought you wanted to entertain yourself. But inside that entertainment too, there's a weapon of war waiting to attack your soul. Everywhere you turn now, you, as far as you are in the world, there must be a system that will save and guard you. Because I tell you the truth by God, many of us don't understand what is growing in us yet. Most times when malaria begins to accumulate, you are not sick yet until it reaches it a level where at that level, the signs and symptoms begin to become evident in your body. Lust is already building in some of your souls. Some of our hearts are already carrying strange postures and Satan knows it's just a matter of time. This 
one, maybe if I make him a millionaire, this thing, this tendency will show. There are some of you who are currently righteous just because no opportunity to reveal the things that has crystallized in your soul yet. You think you are a faithful person until the money comes, then you find out one woman is not enough for you anymore. You think you are a man who is very, very obedient, a woman who is chaste, then you find out that pride has always been inside you. It took money to reveal it. Poverty has a way of making everybody look gentle. Wait until prosperity comes and reveal your true walking step. Then you find out you have always had a bouncing walking step all along. Lost. I share the things I share because of how frail life is. In the midst of our pursuit, in the midst of I must make it, I have to achieve this. Many people have died in the midst of the struggle. They died even without holding that which is solid. And unfortunately, what shall it profit a man, even if he gains the whole world, and then what he lost was his soul?